very rare, Jay, like someone to say what you said. Like you'd rather be striving to play sports with the young, younger, younger guys, right? To challenge yourself to grow. And a lot of people would do the opposite. And I see it every day. Right. I see it every day. And we just have to remember that all the great ideas start new. Right. They start new. But um, you know, on a side note to that, the part the part of a free marketplace is that unless you're willing to die for your idea, like quite literally, yep. you're not gonna have the energy to to speak out against the people that don't believe in you. Right. It's like no one needs to believe that I know what I'm talking about. Right. If I believe it enough and 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 and, and talk on it enough, they'll they'll have to they'll have to. We don't have a choice. You've probably seen that. You've seen the willing the willing participants. You've seen the laggards. You've seen the late adapters and the early adapters. What book did you get that from? I, I think I read something on that. That was Todd Duncan's The Power to Be Your Best. We got... That's not Oh, that's Todd, not, the same guy. Same guy. He's been a big influence. He has been. He has been. Who are your influences in mortgage business? And then, well, start with the mortgage business, then life. I'd love to... I would say Todd Duncan, he was really the first person I was introduced to about mortgages themselves and basically the philosophy behind the career um, and that and being able to use, um, being able to feel fulfilled by helping people out. So it's not just helping people out getting mortgages, it's also working with your, your affinity partners, your realtors, your builders, the people that refer you business, your tax accounts. I mean, we all are working together to drum, to drum up business. And I've always wanted to be, Todd always talks about being a, a, a trusted advisor you know what I mean? Huh. Trying to be a trusted advisor for everyone in your sphere, you know, and, and, you know, there's so many sayings that, that we've all heard about it. You know, you're, you're the average of the five people you hang out with the most. Being a trusted advisor means I don't necessarily know the answer, but I know someone who does. So if you want to be successful in your career, you need to surround yourself with not only people that excel at what you do, but people that excel wherever they do. Mm. Because then if I don't have an answer for something, I know who to go to to get an answer. Or I can refer them to that person. be like the connector. Exactly. exactly. How that, has that been something that you've implemented in your career for some time? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I actually really enjoy networking functions. Some people look at those as a chore. Huh. And they'd rather you know, rip their fingertips off and dip them in battery acid. Well, that's a good go to networking functions. I actually really, really embrace those events. Because I genuinely like people. I like people. Wow. You know, and, and, you know, whether it's people watching or, or whether it's actually interacting with people, to be able to walk in a room 8 to 80 and be able to have a conversation at some level with them by either complimenting them or finding something in common with them. Yeah, so I'm curious, what's your strategy? And now, this is the thing. It's probably just your habituation because that's an effect of you liking people on the network. Yeah. But if you were to break down to someone what your strategy would be yeah. of, like, how you approach networking groups, yeah. how would you do that? It's great. It's, it's actually very, very easy. Okay. Um, you could break this down into, into the two or three simple steps, basically. And I and the loan officers that work for me, a, a lot of them are naturally networkers. This is a new skill. They may worked at a Wells Fargo bank where they were being handed bank business. Interesting. You know, and now they're having to build their own business because Loan Depot basically we bring on you know people that have their own book of business that are already working in this type of environment here, but maybe want to improve it or maybe they're new at it. Um, whenever I go to a networking meeting, I don't. Put too much pressure on myself to try to meet everyone in the room. I hand out three business cards. Okay, I have three good conversations. That's all I do. Just three. If you have three good conversations, I consider that to be a success. You got to go to you know if if you're only going to one or two functions a year, then maybe you got to work the whole room. But if you if you're on the if you're on the circuit, yeah, like to call it, and you do three conversations every single time, you're going to do yourself. So now, what room. happens after you do the three? Because what it like you have to follow up. You do. You absolutely. What's do. your process there? Well, basically, if I have 100 cards, I don't follow up. Yeah, well, first of all, I got an app on my phone, so I actually get those uploaded right away into my phone. That's okay. very, very important. So there's like there's apps on your phone where you can actually take your picture of the card, and it will automatically you save it. Yeah, you can automatically save it then. And then I'll basically, you know, reach out to them and say, it was great meeting you last night. Let's let's get a cup of coffee. Let's let's talk about some of the things. I want to expand a little bit more about what we were talking about, whether it was property management or real estate in general or something to that effect. A lot of times I'll use something along the lines of, and, and, and this is all genuine, you know, if you genuinely like people and you, you are talking to someone who's got 30 years of experience, you're going to learn something from them if you're willing to listen. Yeah. So I use a lot of that as like, you know, you've got a great reputation around town. You've been doing this for so long. There's so many things that I need you, that you probably could share with me that could really, really help me out. You know, would you mind sitting down with me? And, and I've got some questions I want to ask you about your thoughts about the industry and where you think it's headed. 
You know, and, and listen, let's be honest here. People like talking about themselves. They really do. You know what I mean? If you ask open-ended questions, you know, you're going to get some really, really good insights. And you know what? You're also going to ingratiate yourself. This was probably one of the biggest sales influences I ever had. And he's probably one of the godfathers of it all is Dale Carnegie. Oh, you know, How to Win friend. Friends and Influence People. I mean, that was probably one of the most powerful books I ever read about, about connecting with people in this type of environment. Before I read that book, my life story was how to have no friends and piss everyone off. <laughs> 